What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. So I did, in fact, do a Twitter poll uh, just to gauge everyone's opinion on whether or not it's worth doing this. And it was pretty close. It was like a 60-40, but most people would prefer that I did take this run all the way through. And, you know, I mean, I kind of feel the same. Like, on one hand, uh, it's definitely starting to kind of drone on, especially because we just annihilate everything. But... As far as we are, I mean, I basically have this episode, which I'll get through this entire area and get the the knight that I need. Um, and after that, I mean, we basically go through ice bullshit land. That'll take probably an episode, maybe two. Um, and then it's just, you know, Nishandra, or uh, watch, watch your defender, Nishandra, and then Aldia, and that's it. So, I mean, we're we're almost at the point where it's like a boss rush, you know? Ooh, man, that would have fucking hurt if it hit. What the fuck was that? Did y'all just watch that thing come through the wall and hit me? Game, listen, I've put up with a lot of your bullshit, but that's... Let's not overestimate how much bullshit I will deal with. There are limits to the bullshit. Staggering, like I can get a, a repost on him, but then he doesn't. He just sits. Just die already. God damn. So you can't poison me. I'm made of rocks. I killed all of them. space here to really duke it out with this guy. Come on in, big boy. You know, it's a pity you're not faster. Otherwise, you might be able to actually hurt me while I'm just sitting here healing, but... Good douche. What do we have in chest number one? Priest headpiece. Yeah. Oh, fuck, no, it's a mimic! Forgot about that. Um, but so on a good note, just because I, you know, I was mentioning the Dark Souls 3 randomizer, um, and I think I mentioned it briefly on one of the other episodes, but um, I've looked even more into it about that particular mod, and I'm thinking it'll be really fucking good. Because my understanding is that, so one, it kind of follows the uh, a similar algorithm to what we had in the Dark Souls 1 randomizer, and by that I mean that it will randomize key items, but within a set location. So, um, and I th I'm trying to remember if I made this point or not. I might have. It might have been in one of the episodes that I, uh, I ended up erasing. Um, which then we ended up having one that didn't have sound fucking anyway, so it's not like it matters. And I'll go into that point in a second here. Um, but so, 
That's right, I need to get a soul into him. Let's get you over here, come on. Um, but so like, the Ashen Estus Flask will... It'll not necessarily be right where it's at, but it'll be somewhere in kind of the starting zone because you have to have that before you can really proceed. In a similar fashion, um, you know, when I'm looking for, say, the small doll, the small doll will be somewhere that I can get to it uh, because obviously you need that to be able to, to pass through Aerithil. So the small doll could be anywhere up before Aerithil. So it's really going to pay to, like, go and hunt for for every piece of loot that there is. Um, which one do I need? Oh, shit. Did I need three of them? I think this is the front of the chest over here. No, that's right. If I kill just one of you, it should work because the soul should pass between giants. Um... So I think that'll be really cool, because it'll actually, that's that's how the, the Dark Souls 1 was, was if there was a place that I could get the key, um, you know, I could get it. And it worked out really nicely. I had a lot of fun with that run. Um, the other thing that's really cool about it is, whereas this, this just kind of takes the loot table and fucking shuffles it around, which I've bitched about more than enough to belabor the point any longer. Um, but the way that the Dark Souls 3 randomizer works, is it takes the entire loot table at once. So, you know, the whole... Oh, I forgot I could even fucking damage these guys even when they don't have souls in them. That's badass. So the whole fucking loot table, all 11, 12,000 items, however many it is, um, and then the way that it works is after it has that loot table, every time you kill an enemy, they will drop something. And whatever they drop is removed from the table so in theory no enemy should drop the same thing twice and it's going to be a true fucking random experience so if there's you know let's just for the sake of easy numbers let's say there's 12,000 items in the Dark Souls 3 loot table I kill a hollow he drops a life gem nobody else should drop a life gem there's now 11,999 other drops that could happen and if that's actually true, and that's how it works, that is going to be such a badass randomizer run. It's going to be so much fucking fun. Because there's going to be all kinds of badass loot. I don't remember where to go. I think I go the other way first. Yeah, this is the way you go through. Um, see, I'm actually looking forward to that. That should be really sweet. And I know a couple of you guys have asked, what about a Bloodborne randomizer? You know, sorry to... Oh no, this is the way I go. Um, sorry to break it to you guys, but Bloodborne is owned by Sony. It is a PlayStation exclusive. I mean, if it comes to the PC, sure, randomizer might be a thing. But the chances of that happening are not very high because Sony doesn't like giving up their toys. I mean... Sony's given up. What, what? Let's see. What? What came recently? I'm trying to remember. I'm having a brain fart here. Oh yeah, Neo. Neo came to PC. And it started off as a PlayStation exclusive. Um. But it wasn't like one of their like big flagship titles. You know, Neo did well on PlayStation. But when I say flagship, like when you say PlayStation 4, there's a couple things that come to mind. People are like, oh fuck, Bloodborne. Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. You know, titles like that. The people are like, fuck yeah, those are, those are, oh man, PlayStation has the best exclusives. Um, Neo doesn't really fall into that bucket just because it's such a niche audience that I think that's why we were lucky enough to see Neo um, move to PC as well. But something like Bloodborne, I'm pretty sure Sony's got that IP by the balls for a long time and I just don't see them letting it come to PC. Which, if you don't have a PS4, I still highly recommend getting one. Even if you... I mean, right now, if you were going to spend the money for it, I'd obviously say get a fucking PS4 Pro, because why not? Um, if you don't have the money for it, you might as well get the regular one. Because you can get the regular PlayStation 4s at this point. I want to say they're like 200 bucks, which... 200 bucks, like, in the grand scheme of things, when you think about it, 200 bucks is, like, going out to lunch four times 
for you and your girlfriend, or going out to dinner, depending on where you're getting lunch or dinner. You know? Which really isn't, it's not that much. Like, people always, uh, I've always found the, is this game worth it, a really weird question to ask. Because one, you know, everyone's going to quantify money differently. Like, I mean, I, I work fucking 40 hours a week, and I make money on YouTube, and I make money streaming. So, to me, if I have to go to Home Depot and spend 100 bucks, I'm like, eh, whatever, it's 100 bucks. Like, once you own a house, $100 becomes, like, the new $10. Because everything fucking costs $100. Oh, I got to repair, like, just the other day, I had to repair a cabinet because it was cracked. I had to go out to Home Depot, I had to buy the wood glue, I had to buy the clamps while I was there. I was like, oh, you know, I needed to get a new level, let me pick that up, too. Like, by the time I picked up everything I needed, it was, like, $113. Like, I don't go to Home Depot and expect to spend any less than $100, because every time I fucking go, there's just more shit that I need to buy that suddenly I forgot about. Um, now, on the flip side of the coin, I mean, back when I was in college, and all the money I had was whatever I made working at, at Chili's, or at Applebee's, or at Uno's, because that's all I did in college, aside from my days as a male dancer, I mostly served at restaurants, um, but the point stands that, you know, back then, $100 was a lot of fucking money. I mean, a good Friday night shift, you'd usually make 100 maybe 150 And sometimes you can make more, but it really came down to, you know, how many servers were on the floor. But, like, if you made over $100, it was a good night. If it was, like, a Wednesday night and there were only, like, two or three servers and you were the closing server, you might get out of there with 100 bucks. But still, that was, you know, that was a fucking eight hour long shift to make that hundred bucks. So we're looking at two full work days to build up enough money to buy a PlayStation. So back then, you know, in, in that, that college situation where you got other bills to pay, yeah, it's a fucking, like, I mean, I, I didn't even bother getting an Xbox 360 for a long ass time. I think I finally, when I finally got an Xbox 360, it was, I think here, it would have been my junior year of college, and the game just crashed on me. Wow. Dark Souls TM2, Scholar of the First Sin, has stopped working. Fuck you. Well... So all that stuff I was saying about how we were going to finish the game, that that may that may not come to pass after all. We're going to got to all I got to kill and restart the cheat engine. Um hang on here. Steam item randomizer. Item randomizer, load last seed, randomize item locations. Let's see how far back it put me. If it put me all the way back at the bonfire, I'm just running through this bitch. Well, a save doesn't seem to be corrupted, so I got that going for me at least. Oh man. What a fucking perfect spot for a world state save. So we got him. This is where we just froze a second ago. Huh. I don't know why it froze, but... Damn, so close. There was a small part of me that was like, please fucking crash and corrupt this save so I don't have to finish this stupid run. I know that's a really shitty thing to say, but I'd much rather move on to Dark Souls 3. Never gonna catch me! Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, if you're, if you're at that point in your life where you know, you either you don't have a job to make money, or you're a student and hence you don't have a full-time job. Yeah, 200 bucks is a lot of fucking money. So, the moral of the story is it's always it's always difficult 
when somebody says, oh, is this game worth X? Because you need to ask yourself, well, you know, what is X worth it to you? Like, with my government job, I'm listed as a, a GS-13. I think I'm step two now, so my take home is uh, adjusted for locality in like 86, 87,000 a year. I mean, obviously there's taxes and shit that come out of it, but even then, you know, I have a high enough take home that I can cover all my bills without an issue. I can, um, you know, all of my bills get paid, my mortgage gets paid, and I still have money to play around with. But back when I was working at fucking in restaurants in college, and my take home was like maybe thirty thousand a year, fucking two three hundred dollars—that's a lot of goddamn money. there was something else I was ranting about a moment ago, and I don't remember what it was. <laughs> They're talking about how awesome the Dark Souls 3 randomizer is setting up to be. And I was ranting about why it makes no sense to say, is something worth X amount of money? Because it depends on how much you actually make. And I don't remember what else I was talking about. I guess it wasn't that important. I really need something to do with all these fucking souls. Um, wasn't there like one more spot? I remember there being another spot to drop down to here. Like, I don't think this is all there was. Killed those guys, killed those guys. I went over there. Maybe that is it. Man, I don't I don't know. I could have sworn there was more. Maybe not though. Huh. Well, we're at seventeen minutes. Might as well try and kill the boss. For some reason, I'm thinking there's four knights, though. Oh, no, that's right. There's a freebie knight that's already waiting for you. Okay. Yeah, we're good then. Probably gonna have to swap to this. Uh, I don't know. We'll try it. We'll try it with two handy first. This has never been an easy fight. Phoebus. But I guess into the chaos type of thing. Damn, bed of chaos has gotten overgrown. my fucking backstabs. Probably would have been a good idea to go use the sublime bone dust that I had. That extra Estus flask. No, please stay away from me. Go fight one of the, the Knights of Ilium Ois. Why are you all up on my dick, dude? Can I, I could have sworn you could backstab these guys, but they are not having it. They're like, no, fuck off, dude. You're not backstabbing anybody. Oh! 
Oh my god, Pyro Boy! Oh shit, there's two of them. Jesus Christ. Yo, Ilium Lois Knights, you guys wanna fucking help? Why am I fighting everything by myself over here? Don't worry, friend. I've almost killed one for you. I really don't want to use Estus, but I don't have a choice here. No, I'm dead. I'm fucked. I don't know why my knights are so derpy. Like, I don't... I remember them being, like, useful. But they're just sitting around like, yep. Yeah. Gonna suck if, uh... If these things kill you. But, uh... Too bad, buddy. Put on the regular throwing knives. I just need on-demand damage to finish some of these assholes off. I feel like my damage is really shitty. I think I hit harder there. It was only 571. Fuck off, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright. Wait, wait. You guys haven't sealed the last one yet. You haven't sealed the last one. Come on. Still one more gate open. Seal the gate. Who's it? Somebody seal the gate. Seal the fucking gate. Why is nobody sealing the gate? The, usually all three gates are... Oh, God damn it. Lazy assholes. Of course, it's a pyromancer one.
Alright, buddy. It's just you and me. Four, five, five. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead here. No, I'm not. Wow. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. Nope. <laughs> Spoke too soon. God, man. I forgot how much of a pain in the ass this fight was. Might be time to pull out the one-hander and shield again. But I would have to change it, because right now it's magic damage on it. Let's, um, I, I think this fight is usually easier with summons, just because it turns into, like, a giant battle. You have everybody. Sizzle Fama. Get back here and get your ass beat. This pinky something. Uh, okay. Alex. Okay, let's pull in some weird people. Well, we don't get them here. We're gonna have to go and do some switch ups. Mm, them tasty chips. Come, my army! God, they are so fucking strong now. It's a battlefield! Where's the pyro at? You. It'd be so cool if you could fight the uh, Burnt Ivory King with everybody up like this. Just a giant like, yeah! Turns into like a fucking raid boss all of a sudden. Tell you what, shit is dying way faster. Our fucking army over here is like, sup? 
Oh god, a boss is coming out already? And we still have two portals open? This is about to be bad. This is gonna be so bad. Do what you gotta do, I guess. Got him in lightsaber mode. Alright, there we go. Oh god, no. He's like, you. You are the host that I must kill. He's going after Twig of Shay. I might. I might just have to switch. This weapon doesn't... I'm just too slow to actually hit him, really. He has, like, a near unlimited amount of fucking health. The only good thing is there's so many different targets to go for that... Like, we all have pretty good openings to heal. Flama. Now all we have left. <laughs> Damn, I shot. Fuck you, game. Seriously, fuck you. Actually, I might not be even be able to fight the kitties. Isn't there a... If I remember, there's like a key I need to unlock that gate. And I don't think I found that key. But I will find out. Hey, he's dead. You've... No. I long at the dark. I... Yeah, I know. Manus was your daddy. I... I... Yeah, your sisters are bitches. Are you supposed to give me loots? I 
could have sworn there was loot I get from her, but maybe not. Either way, we'll wrap this one up here. Um, I'm gonna go pump up my Estus flask and then go from merchant to merchant and buy stuff with all the souls I have. So either way, we'll catch you guys next time. Adios.